Hello and welcome to Jedite's Pagan Vlog. I'm Jedite. And today I would like to start a series I want to do on altars and altar tools. Um, so today we're going to start with the altar itself. An altar is a sacred space uh, used either in rituals or rites or for personal meditation and reflection. It can be made to either honor one's patron gods or to honor your ancestors, or simply as a place to put, store your tools and do your ritual work. It can be built on a special table, the top of a bookshelf, which is where mine currently is, on top of a dresser or chest, or stored in a box when not, and just taken out when needed. Um, you can keep it up year round, uh, staying the same, so you'll change those to reflect the wheel of the year and some people just use a temporary altar um, that they put up as needed and take back down. I have done all of these. I started off with one that was I would take down when I didn't use it and I put it on top of a um, it's a tall shelf of that old CD so the top of it was only like that big or so. It wasn't big. Um, I've done one bookshelf several times. I've uh, dedicated pieces of furniture. I've, I generally keep my altar the same year round, although I have certainly um, modified it to reflect the, ch uh, the turn of the wheel. Um, it is, the altar is a tool, and like mm, all other tools, it is best way to work with it is the one that speaks to you. What works for you is what is important. Uh, I know people who don't even use an altar. It happens. And they have no issues in their practices without by not using an altar. Um, when you want to start building your altar, there are some considerations to take into mind. Um, its placement is going to be the biggest thing. Uh, that gets into something called altar geometry. Geomancy, uh, which we will get to momentarily. Um, you want to look at the aesthetics of it, the, the big picture of how does it look and what is the f visual feeling that it gives you. Does it feel like it has its own aura, its own life? Does it feel like a sacred space to you? Um, is there room in front of it to work? Very important. Um, balance is also another important thing to keep in mind. Um, is your altar spartan with only a couple items on it? Uh, is it overly crowded? Is everything to one side or the other? Or is it evenly spread out? Um, objects that you do have to um, use during the ritual is are, they, are you able to grab them smoothly? Smoothly. Or is it clumsy? Are you fumbling to grab things? You have to move things around. When, uh, other things to get to something you need during your ritual. This is all part of balance. Um, lighting. Um, many people say that all temple areas should be bathed in candlelight only during ritual use. I am a more, more of a, a digital witch, I guess. Um, so I have no issue with electric lighting. I actually do have. Hold on a second. There it is. These USB rechargeable lights. It's RGB, so I can pick whatever color I like. Um, just the magnets to the top of the shelf right above my altar. And since it is color changing, I can set the mood even through lighting. Uh, I still use all. Uh, candles, but I don't believe candles are the only thing that you can illuminate an altar with. Uh, another important thing to think about when you're setting up your altar is the scent, the smell. This is easily overlooked. Um, but an aroma can set the mood and the atmosphere and opens the mind. And it is a lot more important than most people um, think. Incense are you going to be usually how you do the oils too. Personally, I use incense with a more 
Spin Word, a heady or an earthy smell. Um, dragon's blood, frankincense, myrrh, sandalwood, uh, Nag Champa. Those are the scents I personally use on my altar. There are many other ones. I don't do a lot of the flowery ones myself, but that is personal preference. Um, the scent should <coughs> help you get into the correct mind space for what you're, what you're working on. And the other thing to consider when you're setting up your altar is safety. Uh, are the candles placed so that they don't set anything on fire? Uh, is any oil sensors uh, put with so you won't bump them or knock them over? Um, are you going to knock your athame off and stab your foot with it? Um, things like that. Do you need a um, like a heat-proof tile under your cauldron? Safety is kind of a very important consideration. Um, but luckily, it's one once you've set up your altar, you should be able to tell pretty easily what um, what you need to improve for safety. Um, as I mentioned, um, altar geomancy. Um, earlier, and let me explain what that is. That it answers the question of where do you put your altar, and how do you lay out your altar. Um, when you're thinking about where to put your altar, there can be benefits to putting it in the east, or the north, or the west, or the south, having it facing certain directions. Each direction does have its correspondences, and this can help amplify what you're working on. However, at the same time, if you don't have like a dedicated room, you may just be working with what you what room you do have. Like I have my altar in my office; it's going to be on a bookshelf um, to keep it high enough so that my kids don't mess with it. Therefore, it's in the east, just because that's the only spot I have for that bookshelf. Um, Geomancy also covers the layout of the altar itself, the actual position of things on the altar. In general, the right side of the altar is warm. It's associated with the god, the sun, day, physical energies, and the elements of earth and fire. I'm sorry, of air and fire. The left side of your altar uh, is cool. It's associated with the goddess, the moon, and the stars. It's associated with spiritual energy and magic, and with the elements of water and earth. Uh, the middle of your altar represents spirit and primeval deity. Uh, the back of the middle area it represents primeval deity. Uh, that is the aspect of the goddess that existed before the creation of the god. And is... Uh, it may be described as the higher self of the universe itself. Uh, the front part of the middle space represents your uh, spiritual energy manifesting in the physical world. And this is going to be the area where when you are actually performing a ritual and you're working, this is going to be where a lot of that work is going to take place. When you're staying at the altar, it's going to be the spot right in front of you. Most people will leave this empty, myself included, just uh, when not in use. Personally, I just think it looks better that way. Um, on your altar, you are going to have numerous uh, tools, candles, and whatnot. And geomancy, uh, through the layout I just described, is going to uh, explain where all of them go, which I am going to cover in other videos. Um, that I'm going to you know, try to record uh, and shortly and get released out. Um, hopefully this will give you some things to think about about the altar itself, and we are starting to talk more about the altar and um, the tools that are used on the altar uh, soon. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Um, check out my website, wiccan.pw, that's W-I-C-C-A-N dot P-W. Uh, that has links to my YouTube and um, the Facebook page. Uh, all right, I appreciate your time. Take care.
And until next time, may you blessed be.